Hello, everybody. My name is Al DePaulo. I'm the Partner Products Manager over here at Bobcat, and today I wanted to take a quick look at working with a step file and uh, machining some contoured surfaces from the outside in. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just open uh, the step file to begin with. Uh, when this file opens up, you can see that it's located away from the world coordinate system. I, I find it to be a good practice, though not necessary, to move your geometry to zero. So that's where I'm going to start. I'll create a new layer, make it active, utilities, extract edges single, pick on this top surface, and what that will do is give me the wireframe for the model. From there, I'll join a line for our center line. And then I'm going to take all of my geometry here and I'll translate it by picking a start point and entering an end point. Window in what I want to work with and then I'll hold down shift and left click on my center line and grab the center point of this part. And then from there I now have the part located uh, on zero. The next thing that I want to do is I want to run my stock wizard. Uh, when using the stock wizard, the software will generate a, a stock box based off the minimum maximum of the geometry. Um, in this case, what we want to do, actually, let me cancel this. I want to uh, snap a point. Uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm okay here. Where the world coordinate system is is where I want my zero to be. So I'm going to go ahead and run my uh, stock wizard. I'm going to add some stock on the face of the part because uh, we'll be facing that down. And then the next thing I'll do is be picking my zero. So I'm going to pick from UCS and top XY. So from here, uh, the next thing that I want to do is uh, for this example is I want to load up my uh, three axis strategy. I'm going to use equidistant offset. I'll go ahead and select all of the model. Right click OK. Um, I'm going to select the boundary. The boundary I'm going to use is this outside profile here. Actually let me uh, cancel for just a second. I want to turn my uh, stock um, shading down a little bit so my wireframe comes up better. Let's load this in again. Equidistant offset. Select all of my uh, all of my geometry. Uh, select my boundary. The boundary is going to be this outside profile. Uh, you can right click OK or hit your space bar. From there, I can pick uh, the tool size that I want to use, and then I can set uh, my pattern. And my pattern, what I want to do is an outside to center, so it works from the outside in. My parameters, I can set my step over and I can set my machining tolerance and go ahead and compute. And what this will do is generate a finish pass to come in from the outside um, in on this part. So let's run this through uh, simulation real quick. If you have full machine simulation, you can uh, uh, simulate the part cutting on your machine. Uh, by default, you have just your tool shank and holder. So I'm going to turn some of these options off here, and we'll run this through, and you can see how it's going to work its way from the outside into the center. Uh, finishing those surfaces. So just a quick lesson on how to use boundaries uh, and some options on the equidistant offset. If you have any questions, reply back to the thread, the Facebook, or the YouTube page. Thank you so much, guys.